Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run Instagram ads through Meta. So as you know, it's a very old news, but since Instagram been acquired by Meta or by Facebook, you can do a lot of things only through Meta for both platform. Now you can start creating your ads on Instagram with Meta. And even though you will be able to also add your own ads through Instagram, so I'm just going to show it real quick. If you go to Instagram on your PCs, you will find this ad tool option. And if you click on it, you have the options to create your ads, whether you want to boost the content that you have already posted, or if you would want to add a new content specifically for your ads. And if you click create ad, just like how I told you before, you have two options. You can boost the one that you had or you can upload a media. So I'm going to show you what will happen if we create the ads through Instagram. So I'm just going to choose some random picture that I have on my PC. And then let's say I'm going to promote some nail salon. So I'm just going to create some short caption. And then in the end, what we have to do is they're going to direct us straight into Facebook so it is easier and more straightforward if you create as well as manage your Instagram ads through meta and I'm going to show you how to do it now so here you're going to want to go to adsmanager.facebook.com and before you'll be able to do it you need to make sure that you do have a Facebook account specifically the business Facebook account not the regular one and then you have already created your business page as well as some ads profile and you can do it by going to facebook business platform and then you will be able to find all of the settings through there once you're done you can then go to adsmanager.facebook.com and start creating your ads through there here you want to go to the campaign page and then you're going to want to click on create and then you have two options of buying types if the goal of your ads is to increase sales it's going to depend on what kind of business you have either it's an auction or maybe it's a reservation i'm just going to choose auctions for now and you have several options for your campaign objective you can increase awareness you can increase traffic you can create more engagement you can gain more leads you can do some app promotion if you want but for now, I'm going to focus on sales because the end goal that I will want to achieve through this ad is by gaining more profit. So sales is going to be my campaign goal for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And here, Facebook actually created some sort of automatic suggestion for your ads and they're going to control everything such as the target market that you're going to aim the customer's age the customer's preferences etc it is a simpler way to set your ads but in my opinion if you do it manually it could be more accurate according to your actual goal because sometimes the system might think that those specific group of people are the type of customer that we wanted to attract. But from my experience, 70% of it are actually pretty far from what I want. So what I'm going to do is instead of choosing this Advantage Plus Shopping campaign, I'm going to go with the manual setup. So go ahead and do that and click on continue. All right, so we're going to start by naming the campaign. I'm just going to name this one test campaign for now. And then you can add a category for your ads, but it's going to work only if your ads falls under this category. So either it's promoting credit, employment, housing, or social issues. If it's not, you can click on this category as my ads over here. And this is, let's say the one that I want to promote. Let's say that I'm going to promote gift cards so i'm going to choose this one go ahead and click on next then you can go ahead and continue choosing on the category that suits your ads the most and here are the campaign details that we have selected earlier if you 
somehow change your mind in the middle of the way you can always change it through here by clicking on this added symbol i'm good with mine so i'm going to go ahead and skip that one and here you can create a catalog to drive more sales i'm just going to skip this ones for now as well as the test and then you can settings on the advantage campaigns budget so you can set on the budget you want to put either it's for daily or a lifetime budget they do have a minimum amount for a daily as well as lifetime budget so it's going to depend on the budget that you have for this ads let's say that for today i'm just going to go with the daily budget and then you can do budget scheduling if you want but since mine is just going to be a daily budget and i don't really want to have my ads for too long i don't think i will be needing the scheduling so again i'm going to skip that one then i'm going to go ahead and click on next and then you can name your ad set just going to name this instagram sales ad set and for the conversion location, you can choose whether you want it to be on website or if you already have your own app, you can choose your apps to or both on website and apps or maybe you want to move the transactions or the sales through messaging apps and calls. I'm just going to go with websites for now. And here are the performance goals that you can also set. I'm going to skip that one again for now. And here is the budget and scheduling that you can set. Again, like I said earlier, let's say if I want to do it daily, I don't really want it to go for too long. Let's say that this is a test, so I'm just going to run my ads for maybe a week and I'm going to stop it at 30 June for now. And here is one of the most important part of your ads the audience control again like i said earlier you might already have a pictures of the target market that you want you want this ads to land on the right customer you can first set up the location the age and then the languages that they speak and if you choose on the manual audience settings you'll be able to add it even more such as their gender and then maybe the interest, the behavior, etc. Again, the more specific you put the details on this part, the better the result will be. So make sure to pay attention to this part right here. Next, we're going to talk about the placement. So again, with the Advantage Plus placement, they're going to automatically set the placement of these ads, but because we're going to create an Instagram ads, for now and not specifically just on Facebook, I'm going to choose manual placement. So I'm going to change it here. And you can see now we have the sticks that we can choose. Again, I'm going to focus on Instagram. So I'm going to turn off Facebook, audience network, as well as messenger. So I'm just going to go with Instagrams instead. And you can choose even further down here, whether you want this adds to show on Instagram feed, on Instagram profile feeds, or Instagram Explore, Instagram Home. I personally will want this ads to show everywhere on Instagram just so that it will get even better exposure. So make sure to take all of the necessary places you want this ads to be displayed on. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click on next to go to the next step. And I think this should be the last step of our campaigns creation or our ads creation so basically they just show us the identity which is the facebook page as well as the instagram account make sure that you're creating this on the right account if this isn't your account you can always setting it back on your facebook business account and i'm going to choose manual upload for this one and for the format, you can choose whether you want it to be flexible, single image or video, carousel or collection. I'm going to choose single image or video for now. And here you'll be able to add your image. So I'm going to go ahead and upload mine from my PC. All right, so I'm going to choose that one and it's going to show me how it looks like on 
either feeds or Instagram and Reels. And once I feel like it is good enough, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And you can choose some templates if you want, but I'm good with it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on done. And now on the right side of the screen, you'll be able to see the preview of your ads. Obviously, you're going to want to add some text, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to skip it. But make sure you do make a good caption as well as explanation of what your ads is all about. And here, since my goal is going to be sales, I'm going to have to add my website URL. So I'm going to go ahead and add my website here. And then last but not least, once we're done, we can just go ahead and click on publish. And then the ad is going to be run all across Instagram. And that's basically it. That is how you can create and set your Instagram ads through Meta. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.